Last time on Relegation Regen Rebuild. Hello and welcome back to Relegation Regen Rebuild, FIFA 17, AC Milan. We sit top of the table by 5.6 games remaining and hopefully it's just a formality that we can wrap this one up and take our first title. Um, let's just get straight into it. We do have a player upgrade to do first though, so I uh, will take care of that now. Right, today's player upgrade is for Kaplan. This one comes from Joseph Isbell. Thank you very much for your comment. Uh, he wanted an untucked kit with the turtleneck. 15 is the number. Uh, a black bracelet on the left wrist. Uh, or the right wrist, should I say. Um, well, I've gone and done it on the left. Hang on, let's just fucking change that over. Uh, right wrist, bracelet, black. You can't see it, but if he's not wearing his sleeves, you will. Uh, high socks and all black Adidas boots. So he is ready to go. Thanks very much. All right, here we go. First game of the episode on the road at Avellino. And Mancini will start up front today. It is neck and neck. They're going blow for blow, Letsari and Mancini. Uh, Letsari currently with 13 goals, Mancini with 12. So uh, things are heating up in the quest for the top goal scorer this season for Milan. But uh, we're going to get out here in the rain and hopefully clinch three points because we want to push on and we want to take the title. We've got full rotations in action. I'm going to try Pierre Rocher in a centre midfield position today, see if he can set something up from the midfield. Laganov gets a start in the camera roll, coming back from injury. And uh, hopefully we can take down Avelina on the road. We've got five points as a gap and hopefully we can progress further, build that gap and take this title. Let's get into this game. We're looking for goals. Thank you very much, Alan. Well, they've come out the back. Inside, oh, brilliant from Diaz. That's what you want from your captain, an absolute general. There's Laganov. Slips through the middle. Keeps going here, Laganov. Does very well. Oh, some lovely fancy footwork. Finds Pierre Rocher. Rocher moving forward into the box. Can he find something inside? Passes it off, but picked off by the defender. Does well, Mancini. Does well, Mancini. Gets the strike and a save from the keeper. An early corner here for Milan. And it will be Kaplan to deliver in. Looks for Mancini. Doesn't get up. Falls to Lombardi. Takes one. Oh, wrecks the defense. And it will be another corner for Milan. Come on, Giordano. Whips this one in. It's high. Too close to the keeper. Oh, you don't give it to Mancini. Laganov, how did we not score? What? Well, there's the whistle for half time. Pretty uneventful, and it's nil all. Here's Giordano. Mancini. Slips it forward. Laganov. Oh, what a save. Brilliant save from the keeper. Conti, good save, mate. Good save. Avellino on the break, and Conti is the man protecting the goals. It is a corner now for Avellino. Oh, fuck off! You've done nothing all game, Avellino! And they've just pushed forward there, 88th minute. They get the go-ahead goal. For fuck's sake, boys. What is that celebration? Diacabi and Voynov both missed the challenge. Ricard couldn't get a touch on it, and the striker unmarked. Smacks it past Conti, it's 1-0. Well, there's the whistle. It's been a while, but we go down to Avellino 1-0. Well, we had the nine shots. They had the possession for most of the game. We just could not get going in the rain today. Mancini not really getting the delivery that was required. And uh, unfortunately, they slipped one pass in the 88th minute. And we go down 1-0. All right, here we go. Game number two. It's still fucking raining in Italy. And we're still on the road. It's Vicenza now hosting Milan. And, uh, well, slipping up in the last game has closed the gap back to four points. 
And uh, no goals scored for Milan, so uh, Lazzari still leads with 13 goals. He will start up front today. And maybe he will put on a couple of goals to get ahead of Mancini. You never, never know, but a pretty average performance in the last game. Hopefully today we can turn that around really, really quickly. Well, a good block from Cunningham, but it's given Vicenza the opportunity for a corner here. They whip it in and whip it out. They recover it. That is the question. Yes, Fabinho keeps it in. Punched by Conti. Clausen gets the touch on it. Here's Misseroli. Oh, great ball. Couldn't get there, Freese. Clausen cracking ball out to Kelkan, who's created himself some space here. Kelkan works his way forward. Needs to get something. He finds Clausen. Goes backwards now to Zhao. Zhao off to Christopher Freese. He comes forward for Sook. Sook. Mr. Rolly got the touch. He gets it back. Sandoval. Just working our way through. Christopher Freese to Klausen to Sook to Letsari. No. Oh, Letsari recovers it. Letsari fucking smacks it home. He's 14. He's got 14 goals for the season now. Takes a two goal buffer on Mancini. Not even sure how he got that ball back. That was just persistence and sheer determination. And slots it in the bottom left corner. It's 1-0 Milan. Oh, let's sorry. Well, Mancini's got some work to do now. Well, Conti. Sees the space. Goes for a run. Chips over the top. Sets up Freese here. Come on, Freese. Control it. Oh, for fuck's sake. Fucking these rear-ended slide challenges on the last line of defense really shit me off. Kelkan. Sorry, Xiao, Sook, oh brilliant finish from the Korean, that's his first goal for the season, it's 2-0 Milan, oh beautiful from Sook, what a cracking finish, doesn't have any potential but some cracking crosses this season and now he gets his first goal, Sorry to Xiao and Sook, lethal, makes it 2-0 Milan, get in, cracking right boot. And completely ruins the keeper's day. Clausen. Oh, feeds it forward. Here's Letsari. Oh, just runs into a wall. Mr. Rolly feeds it off. Clausen! Save. And there's the whistle. Half time. It's 2 0 to Milan. Cracking save from Conti. It's a corner now for Vicenza. They're making a substitution. This one's into the box. Sook got up. Letsari can't pick it off. Klausen does though. Here's Freese. Off to Letsari who's starting to tire. Goes all the way back to Sandoval and then he chips it forward. Letsari's kept running. Trying to get a touch forward. And we're just hoping that the boys can get the job done. Oh, great ball from Sook. Finds Albert. The Frenchman pushes on the young lad. Oh, just that one fatal touch. Denies him an opportunity at shooting. Sook. Back to Mr. Rolly. Albert. Aubert, oh he's got it, his first goal, the French striker, get in my son, there he is, well how did he even get through the traffic there, he's just wheeled through and got on the left, off the sidebar, in it goes, and he gets his first goal of his career, Simon Aubert from France, and it's 3-0 Milan. All right, we've got a free kick here, and Zhao's just going to drop this one deep into the box. Oh, Burr gets up. Oh! Well, there's the whistle. A 3-0 victory. The young lad, Burr getting his first goal for the club. We take three points. Well, a good game all round. 11 shots, 11 tackles, and uh, Zhao controlled that midfield. I'm still not 100% sold on him being the starting CDM, but he's done a cracking job there. Gets an 8.7 man of the match. All right, first of the month, it's time for a U-Squad monthly report. Uh, Tariq Shinuda is at 84 to 90. Uh, Zhenzhe Vojic is at 77 to 94. Thomas Moore, 86 to 92. Bilal Abubakar is at 87 to 93. Alessio Gallo, 77 to 94. Fatty Abubakar is 85 to 94. Placidio Ponche is an 85 to 91. Riley Walker, 81 to 87. And Isaac Hughes, 86 to 92. All right, we are in Italy for the final scout report, and there is one man bringing bought into our youth academy. 
Uh, and it is Nicola Giordano. So uh, the Giordanos have been breeding thick and heavy there in Italy. Uh, he's a 57 to 70 overall, 75 to 94 potential. Pretty sure he's a centre back with a 350 grand evaluation. Um, so could really help out a defensive line, hopefully. Let's get him into the Youth Academy. All right, we are in Poland for the final scout report. There's a few players that looked half decent, but uh, no one that I will be signing, unfortunately. So that ends our time here in Poland. All right, we are in Argentina, and we're looking for a backup goalkeeper. And there is one man that we will be signing up, and it's Cristobal Orellana. 53 to 67 overall, 82 to 94 potential at 15 years of age. So he can't come in just yet, but uh, we can definitely bring him into our youth academy. All right, here we go. We're going to send out our scouts, and the first one is number 80. Uh, this one comes from Noah Joseph. Uh, he says, Sweden for any. That's good. We need any player we can find. Let's go. All right, next on the list is number 48, and this one comes from Matt Boss, and he says, Belgium for physically strong. Done. All right, and last is number 99, and this one comes from B Dogs S2, and he says, Uruguay for physically strong. All right, let's go. All right, here we go, game number three, still on the road. It's been an absolute transport central. Uh, Navarra hosting Milan today. Rotations in effect once again. Taylor fully fit, back from injury, will start on the left-hand side. Uh, Fries on the right. Laganov in the middle, Mancini up front. Roche in the center midfield position. Voinov comes in in the CDM role. Oh, Masri comes in to give Diaz a rest, and he'll partner up with Diakabi in the back line, so Laganov takes the captain's armband today. And uh, Lombardi in at right back for Kel Khan. Let's just get out here. We need another win. We need to cement our spot at the top of the table. And Mancini is two goals behind Letsari. Well, three minutes in, Voynov is gone. And luckily enough, I do have Fraser on the bench. Well, pretty much Voynov's first touch was a header. And then he's basically been whacked in the nutsack. And dropped down quicker than a $2 hooker. And he is done for the day. So Fraser comes on in the CDM position. Oh, Mancini somehow gets through, gets a shot off on Al Pacini. And it is a corner, which we've just played with a pass instead of a cross. Oh, well, we'll get another crack here. Freeze into the box. Oh, Mancini, you were right there, son. He's been, oh, mate, he's getting dogged out here. That's two games where he's had gaping holes and brilliant opportunities to score, but couldn't do anything there. God. Mancini gets the touch on. Ricard again. Oh, Laganov. Cheeky back heel, Taylor. Oh, come on, son. Swing your foot through it. Well, there's half time. It is nil all. Fuck! Well, Navarra take first blood in the 52nd minute. Failed to lay challenges there. They're playing five at the back. It's so hard to break down. And then they just stream forward through the midfield, which we should be controlling. Conti can't believe it. And it's 1-0 Navarra. Oh, the season. It's getting tight. Tighter than a duck's ass, in fact. Yukabi knocked his man out of the way, but I'm not sure what Ricard was doing. Not manning up close enough there. And then straight in off the sidebar. Conti, no chance on that one. A rocket from Navarra. It's 1-0. There's Mozarov. Just checked in. Giordano, good touch on. Laganov gets the run here. Giordano. Oh, ref! Where was the bump, mate? Did you see that? Or you're fucking blind. Corner, Fraser to deliver. Whips it up, whips it high. Punched out by the keeper. Falls to Lombardi. He gets the touch off. Ricard! Can't do fuck all. Slips it off. Mancini. Oh. Rocher. Rocher! Oh! Mancini gets the run. Oh, it's Diacabi. Diacabi, finish! Oh, save! Well, the keeper's on point here for Navarra. Conti's come up. Mancini! Giordano. Mozarov. Diacabi. Slips up forward. Giordano! Oh, fuck me, this keeper! Jeez! Oh, God, that's it. Done. We lose another game. Well, it is going to be tight. I can tell you that right now. 11 shots to 2. We lose 1-0. 
We threw everything but the kitchen sink there and the boys did just not perform. Maybe they don't want that title. Well, Voyanov sprained his ankle and he is missing for four weeks. Right, so with three games remaining, we have a four point lead on Frozenone and we play them in the next game. So that could pretty much clinch top spot if we can beat Frozenone. Uh, the next episode will be the season finale, so hopefully you're looking forward to that one. And we'll see you then. I'm Spyro DK, it's five o'clock somewhere, and you have a good one.